CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.4. Given a scenario, install and configure motherboards, central processing units, and add-on cards. Cooling. Heat is a natural byproduct of electronic operations. As such, efficient cooling methods are needed to prevent damage and maintain safe operating temperatures. Within a computing device, you are likely to find one or more of the following cooling methods in use. First up, we have a heatsink. A heatsink is a metal structure that absorbs and disperses heat generated by electronic components, such as CPUs or GPUs. It helps prevent overheating by providing a larger surface area for heat dissipation into the surrounding air through the process of convection. Heat sinks are a passive cooling device capable of minimal heat dispersion, but they can be combined with cooling fans in order to increase their efficiency. Oftentimes, computing devices output too much heat for a passive heat sink to handle, so a more common cooling method is to utilize fans. Fans are considered active cooling and improve heat dissipation by increasing the airflow across computing components. The general logic is more fans will equal more cooling, but there will be a limit. If fans still come up short and things are getting hotter, there is one more option. You can use liquid cooling. Liquid cooling offers superior cooling but comes with a higher price tag. This type of cooling would be best suited for a high-end gaming PC. In a PC, liquid cooling involves actively circulating a liquid, typically water or a coolant, through a closed-loop system. This method provides the best cooling because liquids are more efficient than air convection at dispersing heat. In summation, heat sinks are good, fans are better, and liquid is best, unless cost is an issue. One more trick up our sleeves when it comes to heat dissipation is thermal paste. Thermal paste is a specialized substance designed to facilitate the transfer of heat between electronic components, such as the CPU, and its attached heatsink. Its primary function is to bridge the microscopic gaps and imperfections that naturally exist between the mating surfaces of the CPU and the heatsink. By filling in these irregularities, Thermal paste effectively eliminates air voids, ensuring intimate contact between the two surfaces. Once the thermal paste is applied, just know it won't last forever. Regular maintenance, including periodic replacement of thermal paste, will be required to maintain an effective heat transfer over time. With that said, let's take a look at how to install a CPU properly and then replace the thermal paste once it gets old. First, we need to install the CPU in its socket. Then we apply the thermal paste. Not too much. After that, it is time to attach the CPU heatsink. Now, over time, the thermal paste will dry out. When that happens, detach the heatsink and remove the old thermal paste. Then apply fresh thermal paste. Again, not too much. Reattach the CPU heatsink and you're done. Now, in the event that any of these cooling components fail to perform effectively, the system will be at risk of overheating. When a computer overheats, several detrimental effects can occur, potentially leading to system instability, performance degradation, and hardware damage. Initially, as temperatures rise beyond safe operating limits, the system may throttle down its performance to reduce heat generation resulting in decreased processing power and slower operation. Continual overheating can cause components such as the CPU, GPU, and motherboard to degrade over time, shortening their lifespan and increasing the likelihood of premature failure. In severe cases, prolonged exposure to high temperatures can lead to thermal runaway, where components reach temperatures beyond their design limits, causing malfunctions system crashes, and even permanent damage. Luckily, most computing devices have built-in safety mechanisms such as automatic shutdowns to prevent catastrophic failures, though this may still lead to interrupted workflows and data loss. Overall, computer overheating poses significant risks to system reliability, performance, and longevity, 
highlighting the importance of effective cooling solutions and proactive temperature monitoring and management. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.